earlier in the month, they released out Dragon Quest Builders. Now, I believe that was released out on October 11, 2016. And if you haven't played it, they released it out on the PS4 and the PS Vita. Oh, shit, the Vita actually got a game. But yes, it's also a game that's on PS4. So, yeah, you know, quid pro quo, it's the status quo for, for Vita. However, what a lot of people didn't expect, you know, Dragon Quest Builders isn't your standard Dragon Quest game, all right? Uh, basically, if you took the idea of building things with Legos, if you took Minecraft and wrapped a Dragon Quest skin on it, that's pretty much Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, it was released out on October 11th, 2016, and it was received... Um, you know, critically, it's, it's doing really well and it's actually selling pretty well. Uh, the Metascore average right now, based on professional critics, is sitting at an 83. And the user score is sitting at an 8.2, almost completely on par with the professional score, which is, usually doesn't happen when it comes to these games. So a lot of people think that it's great, which really prompted um, the folks over there at uh, Square Enix when they were uh, talking about the success of Dragon Quest Builders. It was um, the Dragon Quest series producer, Noriyoshi Fujimoto. He spoke about the critical success of uh, Dragon Quest Builders when he was asked about, okay, so where does the Dragon Quest series go in 2017? His one quote uh, that stuck out to a lot of people over the last week was that Square Enix is committed to bringing the Dragon Quest series to the West, okay? Um, in his words, accessibility is one of the most important factors in what makes Dragon Quest games so unique. If it can't be picked up by anyone to play, then it's not Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest first brought RPGs to console gamer for wider access to the genre to the masses when it was predominantly PC-based at the time. Okay, um, <clears throat> Let's see here. He says, 2016 marks the 30th anniversary of the Dragon Quest series. It's not as well known in the West as we would like it, but it really plays in the epic, making role... Um, in the console gaming history. If gamers were to discover Dragon Quest now, they may be surprised to the sheer breadth of the universe in terms of variety and depth, but they would also have instant access to something that has taken us 30 years to build. Dragon Quest Builders is definitely a great way of getting the feel of Dragon Quest while having great fun right now. Um, basically, he, he went out of his way and said, look, Square Enix, we, we've, we've heard fans, we're committed to go ahead and bringing this out to the West. We know there are a lot of Western fans out here. Um, and he went so far as pretty much cementing what everybody kind of already knew, that Dragon Quest XI is coming to the Switch, amongst other things. Because up until just recently, really, a lot of the Dragon Quest games, at least the, uh, the more regularly released ones, are showing up just on portable systems, the 3DS and, uh, and uh, the PSP. Actually, no, the PSP didn't get any of them. I'm actually surprised that the Vita got, got a Dragon Quest uh, uh, release, you know? But, yeah, it's great stuff. What do you guys think about it? The floor is open. First well, of all, I, um, before we get into that, I would like to say, if they're going to bring out soundtracks, you know, on, in vinyl and in CD, don't forget cassettes and A-track. <laughs> Fucking bring, bring them out then, you know. And, and mini discs. Don't forget mini discs. <laughs> when, when, when Soundwave... Kills an Autobot with a Symphonic Fantasies fucking cassette. <laughs> I will become a Transformers fan again. I'm just saying right now. <laughs> Back to topic. Uh, okay, uh, you were gonna say something, Grey Mouse? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you know, Dragon Warrior is what they called it in the West, mm -hmm. and it did not take off as well as it did in the East, and the greatest thing I think is that finally, finally the West is going to get some of those Dragon Quest games that never came. And for example, the Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest VII was just released. Dragon Quest VIII will be released a little later and for the 3DS. And that is just fucking fantastic news. Uh, obviously, I'm a Dragon Quest fan. I've always have been as some of the way back in the Super Nintendo days. That's fine. Um, and I'm ecstatic that they're going to be doing all the, you know, that they're committed to bring some of these games that was never released in the West. And that's, that we've been waiting for this for a long, long time because the same excuse with the, um, that the 
that the Japanese were using was that all of the Western, you know, they didn't like JR from jeans. That was an excuse that they used. And now they're seeing this huge amount of interest in, you know, the Dragon Quest series or Dragon Warrior series. And I, I just find that this is a great time for to be a Dragon Quest fan. Um, and the fact that they're coming out with games that never were released over in the in the East is it, it, great news for me. Um, and then, like you, you went on to say, Dragon uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Also, we have to mention uh, uh, World of Final Fantasy. That's another one that came over. That's kind of um, the same type of genre where it's kind of like a. Uh, a mind quest or a, 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 what is it called? Mind Minecraft type of game. So we're starting. Basically, what I'm saying is we're starting to see a lot of these RPG JRPGs coming over to the West, and that that's that's a good thing. I'm very happy that you know Square Enix is finally acknowledging the interest in the West for these games. Because before, the only time that we were able to play these games was you know. Um, bring importing these games, and they're all in Japanese. So this is a this is a win win for me, absolutely. I think the funny thing about Dragon Quest is that a lot of folks may they remember the Dragon Warrior series from the NES. Well, okay, if you're a middle aged gamer like ourselves, you probably remember the Dragon Warrior series. Uh, if you're a little bit younger, maybe not. the The thing about the 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 Dragon Quest games is that um, uh, one of the things that may have indicated Square Enix that there was some real interest there is do this. Just look up any of the Game Boy cartridge remakes to see what they're going for on eBay. Yeah, uh, yeah, they 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 aren't the most expensive thing in all the world, but they're they're up there, especially for a game that's a uh, uh, for a cartridge that's released over twenty years ago. All right, on a fucking monochrome system. All <laughs> right, uh, so uh, you know there's. There's definitely a lot of collector interest in the, the last few games that they put out. Yes, a lot of them are kind of experimental and spinoffs and stuff like that, like Dragon Quest Swords and a lot of th things like that. Um, but I'm very happy, you know, that um, Square Enix has enough confidence in the Dragon Quest series not to just go ahead and relegate it to a Nintendo Portable because that's pretty much where you got the lion's share of the Dragon Quest games yep. for over the last decade. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's there's a few console releases that I have and that that you can go ahead and you can pull out and you can point to, but the majority of them have been on portable. But they do well and people like them. Okay, and you know it, the truth of the matter is that um, if if Square Enix if, if Dragon Quest wasn't you know tied up with with all of the you know, under the same umbrella the, of the company that that owns Final Fantasy, also there would be a good chance if they were given the same amount of marketing that they will probably be just as big here in the States. Now, and I, I say that uh, maybe that's a little speculative, but I'm pretty confident in saying that, you know, uh, but this is cool. This is really, really cool. Now, is it going to fucking happen? That's what I, what I'm waiting to see. You know, that is it just all lip service or yeah, I see what you're saying. Is yeah. That... See, I don't think it's lip service because simply because, of the amount of attention that's been given to Dragon Quest in recent times. I mean, we, we finally got Dragon Quest Seven. Dragon Quest Seven was has been requested for a long time and it finally came out. And then Dragon Quest Eight is also even though it's portable, but at least a port of the original Japanese version is coming out to the you know to the Americas and as soon as that Dragon Quest Seven went on sale, I bought it and I got it in my collection over here. Yeah. I guarantee you. I mean, it's just, it's just uh, being a longtime Dragon Quest fan. I'm just really pleased with what's coming out of Square Enix right now. It seems like they're hitting the nail on the head. They know what gamers want, and especially specifically the West. And I can't be no more. I, I can't be. You know, I can't be more pleased than what they're in the direction that they're going. Finally, we could we could enjoy the Dragon Quest 
series that's been going on for a long time over in Japan, we can actually get a, a rightful, you know, port of those games. So, um, like you mentioned before, Reverend, you were talking about Dragon Quest XI is coming out on a actual console and not a horrible device for uh, uh, the Nintendo Switch. So I'm ecstatic about that. And uh, I just, I'm really thankful that they're, the Square Enix is finally acknowledging that, you know, that there is interest in the West. After all these years, they finally woke up, you know? I mean, I, I don't know why all of a sudden they decided that, that, hey, wait, maybe there are fans over, over in the West that, that like our games. Well, one of the things that I think kind of kind of contributed to that is that um, uh, a Square Enix, as far as the publisher goes, has not been very shy in dipping their toe in uh, releasing titles on Steam. Correct. And if you remember, the original Dragon Quest Monsters was, was released on Steam alongside of the, the PS4. Guess what? The, obviously, at some point, the... Um, the sales were, 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 were good enough where they were like, hey, look, we're going to do Dragon Quest Monsters 2, and we're going to go ahead and port it to, to, to PC right away, right fucking away, okay? Instead of just, you know, putting it out on, on PS4 and then six months later putting it out on PC. Uh, yeah. You know, it's... So they've, they've had the financial feedback. They've had the... They've, had, they've seen the sales numbers just so that, hey, look, if... God forbid Square Enix put out a JRPG that doesn't have the words final or fantasy in the fucking title. <laughs> all right. But look, if they go ahead and they do that, there's enough fans out there who are sick of the girly men running around on fucking screen. That they're going to go ahead and they're going to buy it. Am I wrong? Oh, 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 wait. Uh, you heard it all way. You really stand my heart there, man. I am a mate. Obviously, I'm fanboying out here. Um, JRPGs is one of my favorite RPGs, and you're right about the fun. <laughs> you're right about the Final Fantasy. I mean, they got a lot of you no know, girly boy hair, you know. But it's just great that it, I I really felt that that Dragon Quest was one of those underrepresented. Uh, uh, underappreciated, underappreciated, underrepresented uh, titles. Yeah, you titles know. That, that, that Square Enix had. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna um, go by what you said something earlier, Gray Mouse. They know what gamers want. Look, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Those words are just this to me. Because it's just the fact that most companies out there know what gamers want. They just don't do it. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, look, you got, you got something square in there's, Wait, oh, wait. Here's the thing. There's no way they can't hear us now. Yeah, true. There's so many ways of communication to see that, hey, what do gamers want? Hey, let's check this shit. Or, hey, let's check this well, shit. I mean, or, or, Look, you, you got five just wipe out and be like, hey, wait, wait. wait. Oh, that's what gamers want? Oh, that's what gamers want? Oh, that's what gamers want? Well, we're going to do that. No! If if it would have been that simple, well, then look, gaming companies look, would be doing that from the start. I mean, look, look at Square Enix. I mean, you got things like Final Fantasy XI, for instance. Now, I mean, they, People didn't want XI, yeah. they want seven. No, but look, they did. They're doing that. But look, are they? XI, or are they doing it in like five or seven different parts? The Final Fantasy XI series, look, it just turned off the servers for that. That says a lot. Final Fantasy XI was, I think, 1990-something? It, it turns off the servers because they're going to remaster them and create another server. <laughs> you're, hey, I, look, I got to I gotta. Wait, wait, wait. I was going to say, you're going to disagree with that? No. But for the while, no. it's going to be episodic. Watch. With with three different cartridges from for Nintendo fucking Switch. And what I'm saying, basically, what I'm saying is like I'm really, I'm really glad that I'm really glad that um, Square Enix is, is finally listening to, to some part to to its customers. The word finally fucks that up. It does. It does. Finally. 
Come on! <laughs> You've been married to your woman 30 years and she finally puts on lingerie for you? Fuck that! <laughs> the novelty is worn off by then. Well, in many cases, yeah. But shit, finally? Well, they're not, they're not Konami. Oh, oh, okay, fine. Cause, wait, at least Square Enix is still a gaming company. So, two shades there, Grand Mouse, but finally? My I'm point. Not, wait, I'm not knocking them for doing it, but it's like, again, there, there should be no form of lack of communication as far as what gamers want now. Well, I mean, well, in today's world, yeah, I mean, Twitter, uh, you got... Yeah, you got, you got, that's what I mean, today's oh. world. Wait, even 10 years ago is a far stretch. Now, 20 years ago? Shit. We need, an act, we need another act racer. Well, look, the way I'm seeing it, I'm not saying that this I mean, fuck, if, if we're going to really go down the line of what sequels... But look, I'm not saying... Again, Square, are we going to make that video again? <laughs> I'm not saying Square Enix is on a fucking pedestal. No, they've done their fucked up shit. You were fangirling about five minutes ago. No, I was fanboying, by the way, <laughs> about... Dragon Quest, we're finally getting those games. What's the difference? Penis or vagina, we're all gamers. Look, you just don't understand how long we've been wanting these, these, these Dragon Quest games to come to the West. I understand. Bring them. Now, you said that shit is a suggestion at this point. Bring them, translate them, and bring them. <laughs> so we can play them and enjoy them and ask and beg for more. As gamers, keep that shit going. Fuck. That, I mean, what else is there? Please, just, you want to play good-ass shit. Bring them over here. Especially, it's like, look, what are they, uh, damn, what were they potentially afraid of as far as bringing that shit out here? What, they were saying that, well, they won't like them. How do you know? Bring that shit out here. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Especially, especially if there's no excuse that you have a certain array of RPGs already out in the fucking states that are treasured and that are just, motherfuckers grabbed them by the balls as soon as they fucking come out in stores. There's no excuse there. Well, see, that genre, it's not like it's a new fucking genre that they're taking a chance on. Well, you Believe it or not, actually, JRPGs are not very popular in America. Wait, because they're barely out here. But the ones that are... Are the same old shit. Final Fantasy, hello? I don't you want something want... new, that's the point. Um, uh, my, my big thing is, okay, look, I, I greatly appreciate this. Square Enix, guess what? If this is where, if, if this is a direction that you're putting your efforts to, I greatly appreciate it. Kudo. Wait, 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 wait. If, 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 they do this, if they do this, bring it for all fucking consoles, please. Yeah, you know, I... Don't I'm, leave anybody out. <laughs> Don't leave Xbox One owners out, which I think they're going to fucking do if they were to do this. But don't fucking leave them out. I'm they're not going to on Steam. Owner, I'm not an Xbox One owner, but fuck, don't leave them fuckers out. They're going to release it on Steam. Reverend said a very valid point. They're going to release it on Steam. Those motherfuckers have PCs. Steam. On Windows oh, okay. 10. Okay, fine. Then, okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so in conclusion, fuck the Xbox One. And Square Enix releases, all right? Uh, Look, uh, here's the thing. Like I said, I, apl I applaud their their um, their efforts. I applaud the direction that they're going into. And all right, um, I'm really tempted to say something else, but that that's going to de derail my thoughts here. Um, but I applaud their direction and everything else. Guess what? Square Enix Dragon Quest titles. If you have a backlog of stuff that you look, go ahead and guess what. Package up like three, four, or five of them together on a fucking single disc. Oh, hell yeah. Let's yeah. throw them out. They will sell like fucking hotcakes. People will scoop that shit up. Well, right? be one of them. Yeah. One thing we forgot is that this is actually 2016. It's the 30th anniversary of Dragon Quest. Yep. Yes, it is. You know, yeah, I mean, good point. years. Good March, point. March 26, 1986 was the original release date of Dragon Quest in, in, uh, in Japan. You know, and, the, and this is the thing. Guess what, Square Enix? You have fans here that like other things. 
that aren't Final Fantasy related. You've got a deep enough library. Go ahead, dig dig that up. Put it together on a compilation disc, okay? Yeah, like Chrono Trigger. Yeah, we will we will eat that stuff up. Anthologies. I mean, they get for Christ's sake, they got Final Fantasy anthologies. There's no reason for them to bank a cop. Uh, no. No, fuck that. Chrono Trigger, get back with Nintendo again and make a new, another Mario RPG or Princess Peach RPG or fucking Luigi RPG. Do that shit for the fucking Twitch. Mm -hmm. Seriously. It, 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 it work. Kirby <laughs> RPG. Oh, a Kirby, Kirby RPG. RPG. Sign me up. He said Kirby RPG? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. That is right. Right. You a battle and you get done and you take their powers? Sign me up. Sign me up. Sign me up. We're done here. <laughs> Seriously. That's fantastic. Fuck. Yeah. We're done. <laughs> oh, my God. The possibilities. Before we we trip. Yeah, the, we can't go off on that. Before we, we, we go ahead and we fall into the pit hole pit that's going to – it require another 40 minutes of us. Right? <laughs> Obviously, this is something that makes us very, very happy. Look, the Square Enix Dragon Quest is just the beginning. Believe me, there's a lot that you have to go ahead and offer, offer us gamers here in the West. The, you are talking to the guys who are sitting there going out to uh, Little Tokyo in fucking Cerritos or in downtown LA at the import stores camping out wondering whether or not they can go ahead and import titles all right Look, you got two people here that have been to japan yeah you that have lived there gray mouse one and the theme here we're stationed in japan <laughs> listen please bring them shits out here because we played them there we love them there it's well loved there people will appreciate them here there and as the reverend just said you want you got motherfuckers that will go to stores that do imports that will wait outside of stores so yeah. if they're going to do that for the imports imagine what they would do for the actual games when you put them here second tuesday of every fucking month Fuck. i fucking remember that all right okay we are the proto takus before weeboos even fucking existed all right <laughs> Believe me, this will only this even will if, only even if Play Asia gets them built, get them here. Yeah, I mean this will only do them this will only do them good because guess what? A lot of us uh we have kids and they're gonna play the same shit and they're gonna grow up PV fans too. Ah. So square ah. Ah. do your shit, right? That said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this one to a close because that's gonna about the most sane spot for us to go ahead and finish this up in. <laughs> Uh, what do you think, folks? Uh, this is obviously some great stuff. Whether or not it's uh, concert CDs on vinyl or concerts on vinyl for, for video game music or the fact that Square Enix wants to go ahead and bring out their huge library here or continue uh, dedicating their library and releases here to the, to the folks here in the West that have, you know, patiently waited by for them to do this. Uh, leave us your comments below. Let us know what you think about that. You know, that's the type of thing that we do this, these videos for. All right, and if you're so kind as long, while you're at it, leave us a, uh, leave us a like, hit the subscribe button. All right, we're the middle aged guys. We bullshit about nothing. We've just bullshit about 35 minutes about Square Enix, music, Dragon Quest, and everything in between, and uh, how some of us aren't big Final Fantasy fans anymore. All right, I am the Reverend. The theme here. Right enough, one. Once again, for the benefits of common sense logic and gaming and gaming soundtracks, music, and import those games in Europe too, not just the United States, but decipher them shits in all languages, import some shit, people will play them, people will buy them, people will enjoy them. Please, credits. <laughs> <laughs>